Good morning, everybody. Shall we pray? We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him prayers and thanksgiving. Also bring before him the needs of our church family, city and the world. Thank you, Lord, we can now hold services, listen to biblical teaching, enjoy fellowship, but I cannot wait until we can join the worship group singing together. What a joy it has been to be able to hold some meetings outside of Sunday morning. Pray the time will come when normal services will return. Also, children can have time to get fun Bible stories and crafts here on a Sunday morning. Bless all who give them, all who, look, who give their skills in order that our little ones will hear of your great love. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are unwell. In nursing homes and in their own homes and in other areas. And in particular, we are aware of COVID patients. Young people who seem to be in the increased number of those who are catching this disease. Please, could we remember Stuart Pickett? and also his mother who has now been diagnosed with COVID. He is one of our members who helps with the PA system at the back. Bless all who care in hospitals, nursing homes, and those in their own homes. May, may they know your love, peace, and healing hands. Please, dear Lord, keep them safe. Give thanks to grandparents helping to look after the grandchildren, enabling parents to continue working, something that is increasingly a necessity these days. Bless all who have taken up this challenge, but how wonderful to think you can still be of service in later years. Give them patience, wisdom, strength, and most of all, enjoyment helping to build memories for their little ones. Prayers for our city still very uneasy in some areas. The sad event at PM has left some residents asking why. May they remember churches in our city are still praying for them. May they be aware there is light after darkness. Perhaps in time leading some of them to one of our churches. I have a prayer here I would like to share with you. It's one that has been used by street pastors and it's called Colours of the Day. Colours of the day dawn into the mind. The sun has come up, the night is behind. Go down in the city, into the street, and let's give the message to people we meet. So light up the fire and let the flames burn. Open the door, let Jesus return. Take seeds of his spirit, let the fruit grow. Tell the people of Jesus and let his love show. Go through the park on into the town. The sun, sun still shines on, it never goes down. The light of the world is risen again. The people of darkness are needing our friend. Open your eyes, look into the sky. The darkness has come, the sun came to die. The evening draws on, the sun disappears. But Jesus is living, his spirit is near. We pray these words will be a comfort to all who are in need of help, worried, unwell, or grieving. We ask this in your precious name, O oh Lord. Amen. We continue to pray, Lord, further afield in the wider world. And at the moment, all our thoughts are on the people of Afghanistan. We pray for that terrible situation 
with the Taliban now in control with their cruel regime. We thank you for the British Army, for all those they've been able to bring back to this country. But we think of the heartbreak for those left behind, fearing for their lives after they gave such loyal service to our personnel when they were working there. May the efforts be made to help these dear people now that the British have left them and the Americans will be leaving shortly. May they not be abandoned, Lord, but continue to be in our prayers, but also in the nations to put pressure on the Taliban to stop their cruel regime. Also, Lord, we're aware of other disasters that are happening. We think of the threatened hurricane in America as people prepare for that and aware of what destruction hurricanes can do. Many are still living with the aftermath of the earthquake in Haiti. And Lord, we realize that devastation is being caused by earthquakes and fires, other weather events around the world. Teach us to respect and care for the beautiful world that you created. We also now pray for our mission partners around the world, for Esther and Y, who've been on long-term mission in the Middle East. They run a bookstall in the mall. We thank, we give thanks for the Bibles they are able to sell and witness to those who inquire their prison visiting when it's, a, when it's available, but under the current restrictions, again, they're limited. We have Tamsin Utsuzen, who is teaching teenagers and the rehab of drug dealers and gang members, etc. There are Claire and John Mulungi, Mulungi in Uganda, who do missions through agriculture agriculture, teaching the locals how to manage the land and grow food to support themselves. And then one of our very close to heart uh, missions was Sahador Adar in Nepal. Mm. They work with the poor and disadvantaged, marginalized groups in Karambeshi and the surrounding areas. They have a wonderful hospital which is changing lives and some of our members have been able to visit Garambeshi and see the amazing work that goes on there by those who are so committed, sometimes having to do their jobs without pay. Mercy ships are another an amazing uh, society who take their hospital ship around mainly African to change people's lives, children and adults who are badly disfigured and who would otherwise be outcast. The surgery they're able to do makes them acceptable again and we just thank you for all the doctors and nurses who volunteer to go to do this work. Mm -hmm. And now we remember Joe and Itcha Gardner who are planning for their move to Madagascar in the near future. It was good to have them with us this summer to understand what they've been able to do. And we mustn't forget our dear John Parsons, mm -hmm. who usually 
goes abroad several times a year on short missions, but obviously unable to do so at this time. All countries have been affected by COVID, but the poorer countries suffer most. Mm. That's why richer nations like ourselves need to help supply vaccines and PPE. We can only do these things by your power, Lord, mm. and prayer. And that is something we can all do for the strength of all those you call to serve in this way. Lord, there are many other thoughts that come to our mind regarding our world, but there are people working quietly behind the scenes, sacrificing their lives to make a difference and to witness to your love and your power. May this continue to happen, Lord, until Jesus comes again. Mm -hmm. And we just bring all these prayer to you with thanksgiving that you have heard and that you will answer. Amen. Amen.